Before you begin any cleaning projects with your Troy Built pressure washer, thoroughly read your operator's manual for all instructions and warnings. It is very important to operate outdoors and never inside of a building or enclosure, even if windows and doors are open. Always remember, running engines give off carbon monoxide, an odorless, colorless, and poisonous gas. Breathing it in could result in death, serious injury, nausea, or fainting. Make sure you have installed battery-operated carbon monoxide alarms inside your home and that all are in proper working order. Smoke alarms cannot detect carbon monoxide gas. To reduce the risk of fire, give the pressure washer at least five feet of clearance on all sides, including overhead. Always wear proper safety goggles when cleaning or in the vicinity of your running pressure washer. Pressure washers pose a risk of eye injury, as the spray could splash back or propel objects. Before starting the engine, put on your goggles, connect all hoses, and turn on the water supply. With the spray gun pointed in a safe direction, push the red trigger lock and pull the trigger until steady water comes out. Purging releases air from the system. You should never pull the starter cord without relieving the spray gun pressure first. Attach the nozzle extension to the spray gun and attach a spray tip. You may have to twist or lightly tug on it so that it snaps into place. For ready start engines, no need to prime or choke it. Simply turn the switch on the engine side to the on position. For other engines, turn the fuel valve to the on position. Pull the choke rod to the closed or choke position and move the engine stop switch to the on position. Be aware that the cord could kick back. Kickback pulls your hand and arm toward the engine faster than you can let go, which could cause injury. For this reason, slowly pull until you feel resistance and then rapidly pull to start. If starting fails, release high pressure from the gun and try to start again. Once started, slowly move choke to the open position as the engine warms. If it falters, close and reopen the choke. For ready start engines, skip this step. When you are ready to clean, firmly grasp the spray gun, point it towards the dirty surface, push trigger lock button, and pull the trigger to begin. To change the spray tip, release the trigger, which will automatically re-engage the trigger lock and switch out the tip. Depending on your model, you will have up to five of the following spray tips. A red zero degree high pressure tip for maximum rinsing on stubborn items or hard to reach surfaces. A yellow 15 degree high pressure tip for general rinsing or most all purpose cleaning, such as home siding or brick patios. A green 25 degree spray tip for general rinsing and ideal for most all purpose cleaning, such as home siding, decks and driveways. A white 40 degree high pressure tip for a delicate rinse or gentle cleaning, such as patio furniture, RVs, or boats. A black tip for applying detergent. A cyan zero degree jet flush tip for quick high flow for long reach cleaning. A magenta low pressure jet soap tip for quick high flow cleanup and long reach cleaning of second story applications. Cleaning is most effective when the spray tip is 8 to 24 inches away from the surface. If the spray tip gets too close, especially with a high pressure tip, you may damage the surface. To ensure that the spray will not cause damage, test a small area. If there is no damage, continue cleaning. When using detergent, be sure to pick the right detergent for the surface. Pour detergent into the cleaning tank. To apply, use the black or pink spray tip. To rinse off the detergent, install a high pressure spray tip. When you are finished using the detergent, remove the siphoning tube from the cleaning tank. You need to flush out the pump by running plain water through for one minute with a high flow nozzle setting. To stop the washer, let the engine idle for two minutes. For ready start engines, after idling, push the switch to the off position to stop the engine. For other engines, move the throttle lever, then the fuel shutoff valve to the off position. Turn off the water supply. Relieve pressure and leftover water by pulling the spray gun trigger. Let the engine cool. Disconnect the hoses. And empty the pump of all water by pulling the recoil handle about six times. This should remove most water in the pump. 
Store in a cool, dry place. If you have any questions, we can help. Simply call our customer service toll-free at 1-888-611-6708 or visit www.troybuilt.com.